a pair of AL clubs. We'll see the Baltimore Orioles as they play against the Chicago White Sox. It's Major League Baseball 2K10. It's all about the American League. The Chicago White Sox, they're looking to get one in front of their home fans. A look at Mark Burley. He'll be doing his best to get a W on the mound tonight. Glad to have you join us. Tuesday night edition of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. What is it about this Baltimore lineup that they'll be looking for from him today? Well, we got a lefty on the mound in this one. Some of the best stuff in the league among the elite left-handers in the game. I guess the, a lineup they can certainly put runs up on the board, but you have to believe if the lefty can get the job done, he should put some zeros up. Time for the Pepsi starting lineup. Here's how the Orioles look. So who are you looking at, John? Well, as an old guy myself, I love watching these veteran guys play. Look, Miguel Tejada's range at shortstop is not as good as it once was when he first came up to the big league, but he plays with smarts now. He positioned himself better, and he still has those good hands to make the consistent plays. And we've got his Torres batting. Last outing for the Orioles proved to be a W. They ended up with the edge going three for four in the series against the Rangers. On oh, this ball club's in the middle of a pretty good streak right now. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. That's one away. And now's a good time to take a brief look how the White Sox stack up defensively. What do you like out there, Steve? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. Base is empty, one out. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. I don't know if you got a chance to see his last ball game, but he picked up two hits in that one, swung the bat well. 0-1, Burley kicks and delivers. Fielded by Ramirez, and that'll retire Tejada. Here's a look at what's coming up for the White Sox. They wrap up this Baltimore series on Thursday, and then they'll have to contend with Derek Jeter as they play host to the Yankees. That's a team they handled all right the last time up. They'll try for a repeat performance. That's going to get going on Friday night. And then they'll grapple with another American League Central team. The Cleveland Indians will be hosting. It's going to be Weeders. Base is empty and two down. The pitch from Burley swung on and missed. Well, he's got great movement on that two seamer. It's one of the best around. He delivers. Oh, strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Matt Weeders. Watch that strike zone. Oh. And it holds at 0 and 2. Oh. And he fouls off another one. But when a pitcher throws a pitch out there 0 oh, 2 you're expecting him to get a ground out or a strikeout. But this guy just reaches out puts it in play defensive swing to keep this thing going. So Mike Burley gets him one two three. He gets through the first inning without allowing a hit. And the White Sox their first chance has come. And on the mound we'll see Brad Bergeson. He's starting the game for Baltimore. As he gets into this White Sox lineup Steve a little strategy. Youngster Brad Bergeson out on the mound, a kid with good stuff, still learning how to pitch at the major league level, so strike one is going to be critical. When he falls behind, he tends to elevate, and that's when hitters can hit the ball out of the park. And it's Johnny Damon now. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored, top five. Circle change, cut on and missed, 0 and 1. Just a solid offensive player, day in and day out, and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Strike two, Bergeson way ahead now. Can you say ground ball? That's what that sinker down of the zone is meant to do. You're out. Strike three, now Damon on a swing and a miss turned one. away. Well, he made it look easy Number right three. there. Slicing and dicing, just right attacking right the strike zone. Three pitches, all for strikes, sitting on. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. He's number one in runs right. scored in the league. Fastball, swung out and missed, 0-1. Here's the pitch. Right and it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. But just a little bit out in front of that fastball on that swing. Swing and a miss. Slider two down. 
Now we've got a chance to take a look at the slider again. Number 14. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. And Paul Canerco to bat. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. And that one adding to the win streak for him. It's now up to six. What happens when you get in a winning streak like this, when everything starts to click in, you get that swagger when you take the field that the other team notices. It's up against the wall on a bounce. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Any of these bats stand out, John? If you want to see power in the lineup, just look at Carlos Quentin. This guy can hit it out of the ballpark and hit it out anywhere. Doesn't matter if he's pitched away, he'll take it to right. If he's pitched in, he'll hit it to left field. Great power stroke, but the thing he's been working on this year is his consistency. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. And Quentin settles in. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And Quentin's got himself a base hit. And Canerco will score. And he is out at second. Nice way to get things started in this one. The White Sox are leading one to nothing. Clean up batter. You up next. And Luke Scott to bat. Well, I got a chance to drive one out of the ballpark in that last ball game for him. I think with that, they got to think about getting somebody on in front of them because it looks like the power is coming. The O.O. delivery of fastball, taking first strike. The hitter lays off this pitch, realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four-seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. Back up the middle. And that's a base hit. Scott is on. That will bring Ty Wigginton up. Already nearing the end of August, and courtesy of State Farm, we'll see how the American League wildcard race is matching up. In first place, it's the Yankees. Mariners in second place. Orioles third place. Fourth place, the Royals. Fifth place, the Rays. And down at the bottom, the Texas Rangers. Well, they may not win their division, but we've got a great race for the wild card here. And these teams are going to duke it out to the end. And very interesting race to see who becomes the fourth team in the playoffs. That was one out. We get the lead runner in second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. And we've got Jones batting. Burley with a delivery. Swung and a ground ball to third. The second for one. And two. A double play. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. Baltimore still hoping to put something up. Swing and a shot to third. One down. Boy, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the body. Uh, the key was he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Big smile, he got that one done. One out. And Alex Rios at the plate. And he's in the top echelon of hits right now. A smash to first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. With this break, here are the teams that have been piling up the runs courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Red Sox second. Third, the Yankees. Fourth, the Orioles. And for the Blue Jays, they are in fifth. Well, when you have two teams that pick each other up on a consistent basis, that's why you see these teams at the top of the leaderboard in the runs batted in department. They love the fact that they can hit with runners in scoring position. Hit sharply towards the hole. And that'll put Brzezinski on first. That brings up Mark Tian. Well, the inning is never over with this team. Two outs, they get that guy in first base with that big hit. Another guy gets on base. This could set up a big rally. In the top ten and hits. Swing and a high drive. Hooking into the corner. Gone! A two-run homer. A little distance now, increasing their lead. One to three. White Sox lead expanded here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Two outs and nobody on. Jim, tell me. Here's the pitch. 
There's a swing and a long high drive. Still going back. Goodbye home run. Add one more to that lead. Fly ball out of here for him. Uh, you got to feel for the pitcher here right now. He's figuring something out. And he's throwing back-to-back -back mistakes and paid for it. Sometimes in these situations, you just get too anxious on the next guy and feed him the fast one. Well, you know what? Sometimes you hang on the mistake you made oh. earlier and you make another one. One zero on the way. A fly ball. Oh, foul ball. That one swung on, hit in the air, deep to left field. That ends the half inning as Scott makes the play. But they strike for three runs here thanks to two home runs in the inning. The White Sox, four run lead. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Cruck, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Aubrey at the plate. It's taken for a ball. Bottom dropping out on that burly pitch. That two-seam fastball is such an effective pitch. One, because it gets ground ball outs, but hit up the middle. Burley over to Canerco. That's one down. Wow, great reactions right there. Doesn't waste any time at all. Getting his glove on the ball, then easily throws it to first and retires the run. Burley with a delivery. Breaking ball, swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. And here's a swing and a miss, and he falls behind 0 2. Now Brzezinski sets up. Still 0 2. Tried to get him to chase that curve. It's 1 and 2. The one two from Burley line towards second back up and that's in plenty of time for the out. Here's a look at the standings in the Eastern Division as we head towards September looking at the State Farm standings board in that first spot it's the Red Sox in second place the Yankees in the three hole it's the Orioles Rays are fourth and it's the Blue Jays last as the Orioles make their way through this season. Some optimism in Baltimore right now as this team showing signs of improvement. And this is bounced foul to the left side. A swing and a batted ball. Damon. And it falls in there for a base hit. At the plate. And that's going to bring Cesar Astoris up. Well, with two outs Three. and no one on base, Cesar chance of scoring a run seem pretty scarce. But they get that two-out hit. Now they have some life. First pitch to him. Right and Burley gets it by. Called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this. There he goes for second. Right to him. And he is out trying to take second. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. The shutout continues in Chicago. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. One of the best batting averages in the league. Alexei Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. It's strike one, can't make contact on the fastball. Here's the delivery. There's a swing and a smash. And Jones takes care of that one. One away. And it's Paul Canerco now. One out. Faces him. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0-1. Oh well, I'm going to try to make some contact in this ball game today because he swung and missed a little bit too much, striking out twice in his last game. 
that's going to one hop off the wall. And he's in at second with a double, one out. Well, this could be the start right here if this offense needed in this inning. A nice double right there with only one away. This could ignite this offense, and possibly big things could happen. And it's Carlos Quentin in the box now, but leading the league in home runs. They had him stuck out there between second and third. He's tagged out. Here's a replay, Steve. We don't see many picked off over there. I know he wanted to get down the line a little bit in case the pitcher threw a ball in the dirt and he could try to score, but you... That ball is belted deep to left center field. Ball is on its way. Tell it goodbye. Add one more to that lead. Solo, big fly ball up by five. Well, they're going to start thinking about backing some of these hitters off. They're looking very comfortable. Three home runs so far. You can survive home runs, but you start getting to this number, and you're going to be in trouble even if they're solo. Yeah, you're right. And Beckham's in the box. This one's grounded foul wide of first. On the way. Strike two. Bergeson way ahead now. Now we talk about a game of production, Steve. Uh, the home run, the runs, they are piling up in this game and so early. And that's why they really need to get this offense shut down now or this game could get out of control. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox, they've got a commanding five-run lead. None other than Ozzie. That's Ozzie Ian. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. Up the middle. And as Torres picks himself up a single. And that'll bring Miguel Tejada to the plate. Grounded out last time. Runner on first base, nobody out. Burley with a delivery. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And there's one. But he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. He makes a nice play to get the lead runner at second base with a strong, accurate throw. Good footwork. They just couldn't get the double play. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. Look, Gary, the way this is going so far in the fourth, I mean, they do have three hits. He swings and nails a liner. That's a base hit. Leaders on board. Now it's time. Back. Time to get it done. Baltimore, let's see if they can. Number 30. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And that one is in there. His second hit today. Tejada's going to try and score here. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Well, anytime you have two hits in a game, it will build confidence, and he's carrying it over into this game. Three on and one out. First pitch on the way. Good pitch from Burley, swung on and missed. Boy, that good late movement down, that cut fastball, unbelievable action on that pitch. Swung on, that is hit. He's up with it. That's one. And two, they pull off the double play. They pick up three hits in the inning. They leave the sacks full. The White Sox still on top. And Alex Rios to lead off. This is his seventh pro year. And he starts Rios out. Hard ground at a short. Picked up by Asturias. So Rios is set down. It's going to be Brzezinski. And right now, Brzezinski. top five and runs batted in in the league. One out, nobody on. This one's grounded near third. Foul. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Here it comes. Strike two, Bergeson way ahead now. But a great pitch right there. Threw in that slider to hit her just out in front of it. Swung early, came up empty. 
Slider swung out and missed. Two down. Get a chance to take a look at this slider right here, Gary. Number 25. A breaking ball right there gets him to swing. You can see that back leg kind of jelly bitten a little bit. He really used the off speed pitches during that at bat to get it over with. First one to T in. Here's the pitch. Swings on that first pitch. Misses the fastball. 0 and 1. Had a big two run shot last time out. Swinging the bat very well. Took advantage of a pitcher's mistake. He had good patience at the plate. Got a pitch he could drive. He's trying for second. He's not stopping there. He's on his way to third. There's the throw. Gets in there in time. He is safe at third. Well, the one thing you never want to do is make the last out at third base to end an inning. But he was able to get in there with that great speed just in time. Here's a chance to capitalize RBI for Jim Tomey. Right there in the top five in home runs. Two outs and a runner on third. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivered. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. That ends the half inning as Scott makes the play. They get a man to third. But can't bring him home. We're through four in Chicago. Looking ahead, six, seven, eight. They're due up. And welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. And we've got Jones batting. And here's the first one. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to Owen Warren. Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get anything going. With only one runner left on base, so they just need more opportunity and see if they can't capitalize on it. Curveball got him one away. That's a hard fighting curveball right there with great, great, awfully tough to put in play. Swung right through. One out, nobody on. Here's the first pitch. Ball. Fastball just misses. 1 and 0. Oh. Strike. Burley's pitch taken for a strike. 1 and 1. What an outstanding pitch. Changing speeds, hitting your spot. Throw that change up away. And that swung on and hit. Rios out number two. Here's the Central Division race with September just around the corner. Looking at the State Farm standings board, it's the White Sox in first, second place the Royals, third place goes to the Indians, Twins are fourth, and rounding out the list the Tigers. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. Watches that fastball that goes by him for a strike. Burley with a delivery. Take something off that time in control with the count now 0 and 2. Oh. And it holds at 0 and 2. And that's another foul ball. Well, you can tell right there that the batter is in protection mode. Anything close, he's just trying to put it in play. The fact that he fouled it off will keep this at bat going. Change up got him, and the side is retired. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. The Orioles still looking for a run. We've got the top of the order coming up. And so Johnny David leads it off. Top five AL in run score. Johnny David. First pitch on the way to Damon. Takes a swing, but he's too late on that one. Strike one. He delivers. Headed for the middle. And that gets down. Damon, base hit. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. And for runs scored, he's got more than anyone else in the AL. Runner on first. And 
Ramirez settles in first pitch towards center field one away and that will hold him at first. And this is what the schedule looks like for Baltimore for the Chicago White Sox. Thursday they will finish up the Chicago series and then they'll be off to take on the Angels in that bat of Bobby Abreu team that beat them pretty good in the last series. That's Friday Saturday Sunday. And they'll go up against the Boston Red Sox. That's a division rival battle. That series bound to be competitive. And here's Paul Canerco. He's the league leader in ribbies. Here's the pitch. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0-1. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Swung on and ripped towards second. Over to second for one. Over to first. He is safe. Almost a double play, not quite enough time. They get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. First pitch to Quinton. Out in front on that one, strike one. Well, Gary, this guy has an outstanding slider. Such a tough pitch to hit. It almost needs a turn signal when he gets to the plate. And it gets through. Finding a way to get on base today is third time. The opportunity for offense is right now. Well, he's having himself a day right here in this one. Two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. Now we'll see Jim Johnson pitching. They've decided it was time to make a change here. Well, if it were me, I'd leave the starter in the game. I think it's you're taking him out too early right now. I'd go to the bullpen a little bit later. And that's the third out. That'll do it. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. Up next, Orion. Rookie right fielder stands in. He's going to get us started here in the sixth. And the first pitch. Good pitch from Burley. Swung on and missed. Gary, he's not felt any pressure out there on the mound. The defense has not felt that much pressure either. I mean, only one runner left on oh. base, and you know we're moving through the middle part of this ball game. So, you know, they're doing a nice job shutting down this offense. You're Big out. swing, misses on the changeup, struck him up the way. No break on that Three. whatsoever. And 81 Three miles per hour, getting into a pretty good hitting speed right there. It's batting practice. Well, he pulls the string again. I mean, that's two straight strikeouts on the changeup. That sequence of pitches is amazing. Burley with a delivery. Swings and it's a little flare to shallow right. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. And that'll bring Miguel Tejada to the plate. Well, anytime you can get a guy on base who can steal bases, it puts so much pressure on the opponent. Let's see if they can get him around to score a run. Runner at first with one down. Now Brzezinski positions himself. Oh, and, and Burley gets it by. Called strike and the count will go to 0 and 1. Ground ball towards second. Now in a moment here, let's take a look at our State Farm League leaders in slugging. Number one, the White Sox. The Red Sox second. Third, the Yankees. Jays fourth. And for the Orioles, they are fifth. Well, when you go into a game and you're facing a team that has a slugging percentage as equal as you, and you're one of the top teams in baseball, here's what the pitcher has to do. Chuck and duck, because you throw it over the plate, these two teams are going to put it in play, and put it in play with a lot of power. You could better hope your outfielders have their running shoes on, because they're going to do a lot of work in this one. Still one and two. Here's the delivery. Change up that time. Swings and misses. That'll be strike three and two down. And Gary, he delivers a change up on this one. Luke. Well, you'll see this thing get tracked to the lower corner of the plate. It looked like the batter thought he had this one, but in the end, it was just too much for him to handle. And uh, not the way he was looking to end that at bat, John. And Luke Scott up in the top ten in walks. Not a bad list. a strike. Scott's going to have to be very careful on this next delivery. Yeah. Rings him up. Steve, we've got three innings left to go in this ball game. He's got the shutout going. 
We'll see whether or not he's got enough to go through. Well, it's a fantastic effort so far. Now it comes down to Hart. Does he have the heart to finish it off? So they're shut down again. That's six shutout innings so far. The shutout continues in Chicago. And Alex Rios to lead off. He's a big home run guy, top 10 in the league right now. And he starts Rios out. Strike one, and Johnson gets him swinging. Well, he's having some kind of season this year, Gary. Really the guy leading this team's offense and some kind of offensive production. He deals. Swing and a miss. Gets away. He's heading for first. And there's the throw down to first base, and they got him. Nice play by the catcher. Time to get out of the crouch and get it over to first base ahead of the batter. Sometimes these things can get away from you. He did a great job keeping it in front. Good hustle and a great arm. It's going to be Przinski. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. This one's going to be fielded by Scott. And he enders over to put it away. Just take a look at the Baltimore Orioles and how they're ranking in the American League right now. Third in doubles, fourth in batting average, and they also have patience at the plate, showing up in the top five in base on balls. Patience, a big asset for this team, understanding it doesn't matter how you get on, you just need to get on base. Well, maybe he needs a little vision clarity here. That one he went after, and it was clearly in the dirt. Johnson out in front, no balls, two strikes. Okay, the only way you're going to get back into this ball game is if you get your hitters back in the dugout. And, you know, two outs here with nobody on, and at least maybe some momentum starting to shift. Johnson now, count one and two. Fastball swung out and missed, and the sides retired. And so out of the inning, only eight pitches thrown. That's pretty efficient. White Sox five, Baltimore nothing. Middle of the lineup. And for those of you catching up with us, hi, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crock and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Wigginton's batting. He got another shot after hitting into that double play last time up. First pitch, here it comes. On the ground to second. Back up. That's one away. We have said it more than once today, but he continues to look extremely sharp, Steve. He's so locked in. You, you wonder how long he can keep it going. I haven't seen anybody pitch like this in a long time. Hot shot towards the hole. Doesn't get there in time. He is on. Adam Jones' season unfolding in front of us. Let's take a look at how it's been playing out so far. 11th in batting average of runners in scoring position. 12th in batting average. And as you can tell, he understands baseball. He's a baseball player. Those top at bats ranked among the top 15 hitters in on base percentage. A critical statistic offensively. And he fouls off another one. And another foul ball. A shot up the middle, and it's caught by Ramirez. The question is, can he keep this going? Now, you know what? It's different for every guy, but from what we see today, he is locked in, dominating stuff, and he looks strong. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. Okay, listen, he's, he's made pitches. He's at hit up the middle, and that gets through for a base hit. The throw... And safe. They can't get him at third. It's time. Time to get it done. Baltimore, let's see if they can. Got to like the aggressiveness on the bases right there. He was thinking third base all the way. As soon as he saw it go through the infield, he said, I'm going to third. Pauses, and now the 1-0. Waves at that big breaking ball. Can't get to it, though. 1-1. And he watches one at the knees, and it's one and two. You can throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. Swing, hot shot. 
So they can't figure anything out. And through seven, they remain without a run. The White Sox still ahead. And Jim told me to leave it off. Number 27. Tome gets in. Here's the first delivery. There's a ball. Hit well. Deep in the center field. Way back. Way back. Out of here. A home run. Well, I don't know what's going wrong for these guys. Extending their lead to six. Solo. Big shot. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 18, Johnny. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swung on and missed on one. Steve, this lineup uh, combined with their pitching right now in a position to be unstoppable. Well, no question about it. In the other dugout, the manager's got to be thinking, what am I going to do with this pitcher? Should I get him out of there? Johnson with a windup. Big swing and a miss and a heater. Strike him out one down. Well, K-Cam's going to show us the four seed fastball here. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He flew out his last time up. And here's the first one. Don't strike on one. His batting average, 212 lifetime against the Orioles. Lined up the middle, and Tejada picks it up. And so Ramirez retired. For the Chicago White Sox. First base. Federico at the plate. Two for three thus far. Strike one. Strike one, and Johnson gets him swinging. Well, not a whole lot you can do when a pitcher's locating that curveball down in the strike zone. There's hit hard down the right field side. This is a one hopper off the wall. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. Well, a big two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He's singled in his last at bat. Well, they find themselves ahead of this one, and obviously two big at bats from him so far in the game, driving in a run with a base hit, and then the home run driving the ball out of the ballpark. So getting his pitches and doing some damage. 1-0 now. Swing and a miss, even at one. One, two, the count. The one-two on its way. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Throws the first side is retired. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. It'll be the leadoff man trying to get things going here. And we've got his tourist bat. Base hit his last time. Cesar is tourist. Here's the first pitch. It's taken for a ball. Bottom dropping out on that burly pitch. Well, what an outstanding effort. Uh, by the pitcher today. I mean, he has just been on top of his game, making the pitches, and offensively, they just have not been able to back hits up with other hits to mount a rally. They've been held scoreless here today. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. And in there for a base hit. He's three for four today. And that'll bring Miguel Tejada to the plate. But just what his team needed, he continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. First pitch to Tejada, and there's a call strike. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. That's it, foul by Tejada. Ball. Does an offer at it, one and two. The one-two from Burley. And he swings and hits this one foul. Swing and a line at a right center. 
And he gets that one down. His second hit. Two for four today. Now Fantastic back. chance here. He right, takes this one-two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit when you're behind in the count. You just want contact, and he got it. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. First pitch. Strike one. And Burley gets it by. Called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. The hitter saw fastball. The pitcher threw change up. Not a good combination for the hitter. On the ground to third. One. And two. They got both of them that time. Nice pickup on that one. Then around for two. That's like infield drills in the pregame, except this time they got two outs. Nice work to get the double play. Scott in the batter's box. Two for three thus far. And on third, two outs. Now the first pitch. In there for a strike. You can really stay out of big trouble in the big inning if you can spot your fastball down in the zone. Can't catch up with it. 0-2. Still 0-2. Burley with a delivery. And he fouls another one off. Well, anytime you're down 0-2, the bottom line is you want to be able to cover the whole plate. Hit hard on the ground to short. And Ramirez feels the ball. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this happening. And heading to the dugout, Mark Burley. The healthy lead takes that pressure off. He'd like to keep that shot out intact. After eight innings, no runs allowed. Now tap. And Beckham's in the box. 0 for 3 to this point. Number 15. First pitch on the way. Hit up the middle. Oh my, how did he get out of the way of that? Those are scary. So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Runner on first base, nobody out. First pitch to him. Lined right at the second baseman. That's one. Back to first, not in time. One and two won't get it. They get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. One out man on first. And that's by him on one. Well, if there's ever been a time they needed a ground ball double play, it is right here. I mean, you cannot let this offense keep going. You've got it out. you got a man on first base. Roll, roll two. This one's going to be fielded by Scott. Now it's two away. Now batting for the Chicago White Sox. Third base. And the batter's box, it's Tian. A couple of RBIs thus far. Well, a complete game here for him. I mean, you talk about the RBIs, the homers, and this guy's doing everything today. The first pitch. This one's blasted. High, deep, center field. Way back there. Over the wall. A two-run home run. Two-run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. Now this is Jim Tomey at his plate. Designated hitter. Number 27, Dan Two outs, base is empty. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Swing and a miss on Johnson's delivery. Steve, this lineup uh, combined with their pitching right now in a position to be unstoppable. Well, no question about it. In the other dugout, the manager's got to be thinking, what am I going to do with this pitcher? Should I get him out of there? Now a ball hit high in the air. Left field, way back. Out of here. Goodbye, home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Johnny Damon. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swing and a ball hit very high, soaring straight away left field. 
Goodbye, home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Well, we talked about it earlier. Pitcher just can't live in the past. you got to flush out the bad thoughts and get focused on the positive. Now it's going to be tough just to throw a strike because he's got to be wondering, if I do, where's it going to end up? And he's got to get back on track here. That one's grabbed. Side retired. But not before. They strike for four runs on the strength of three home runs. White Sox continue to run away with this ballgame. And Wigginton's batting. Number 23, Burley with a delivery. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. They've had a few base runners throughout this game. They've left some on, Gary, but I mean, every single time they've had runners on, he just seems to elevate his game, making the pitch when he needs to. They just can't score. And it falls in. Hitting streak Having continues. The for the so Adam Warriors. Jones will come Senator up now. Fielder. Well, a good we start to this inning, but Adam let's see if the Jones. guys behind him, after he starts out this inning with the single, can follow up and finish this inning off with some runs. Hit hard to second. The second, there's one. Back to first, not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. Pressure continues to mount. Not a bad way to start the last inning when you've got a shutout going. You want to get the first guy. He's going to need every bit of that defensive support in the end. And the strike, Burley catches him looking. Oh, it's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike. Swung on, hit. It's picked up. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. The opportunity for offense is right now. Well, sometimes the pitcher can do everything he can to record it out. He put this pitch right where he wanted it. The batter very lucky. Just And that swung on and hit. Rios. And in there, at least for a single as it gets down. And Jones comes in. Baltimore, keep it going. They are. Well, the shutout broken up right there, but I tell you what, no shame in the performance he's given in this one. He's been outstanding. Hi! We'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching as they make the pitching swap. Well, this was an outstanding performance today. I mean, that's good starting pitching right there. He won't be able to finish what he started, but he pitched a heck of a ball game. And the first pitch hit up the middle, and he'll try to make the play. There's one. And they turn the double play. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win in the shoulders of their pitchers. Now time to recognize our Pepsi Clutch performer. Our fantastic display by Mark Burley got it done today. You know, a lot of times pitchers get really too hard on themselves, and they're their toughest critic. But I don't think he can find too much to complain about after this effort. Yes, he did give up just a one earned run, but his bats came through for him on the offensive end, and he took care of the rest. Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Now, you and I like the close games just because there's a little more intrigue for all nine innings, but the hometown fans, they like the offensive explosion and the big win. Well, that time again, thanks for being with us.